as we mentioned, I had a little mishap with a mandolin last week. Take a look. And you just kind of layer them over each other. Harry, did you cut yourself? Oh no. I told you. Oh no, Harry. <laughs> oh no, I injured Harry. <laughs> so You gotta sorry. be really careful with the mandolin. Yes, be very careful with the mandolin, okay. And anybody who cooks knows that just a moment's distraction can lead to kitchen catastrophe. So early show contributor Katie Lee is here with some <laughs> safety guidelines to keep us injury free in the kitchen. Oh, I'm fine. Harry, I'm just fine. watching that segment gives me the heebie jeebies. It's skis, I can't, oh, right? I totally cringe with that. And yeah, so right. I'm hoping today I can show you some tips that will keep you from having any more kitchen disasters. And don't I wish I had been using yes. one of these last Friday. The most important thing I can say is mm -hmm. to pay attention in the kitchen. Just a little bit of distraction can cause an accident and we've all been there. We've all done something in the kitchen. Right. And I had so many people Twitter and Facebook me about these mandolins <laughs> because so many Because everybody has done it on one of these. So I found some safer mandolins. Oh, you okay. still have to pay attention, okay. okay? And they range from $15 for this little Little handheld mm -hmm. to about yep. 99 for this one. And this one Please has one of those careful. gizmos yes. again. Okay, so this protects your fingers. Right. It has this little feature on it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a potato and just shove it on there. And now right. that holds it. It's going to protect my fingers, and I'm just going to run it down the, the blade like that. Okay? <laughs> Stop! So it's all safe. I know I'm having flashbacks. I was so upset that entire day. And Harry, there it is. Look how well that be worked. Be careful. It's like I don't even want you to touch it. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> calm down. All right. So if you use one of these things, you'll never have what happened to me. Well, That's not the never. You still have to pay attention. Right. Okay. So next is a can opener. This is a common mistake. Mm -hmm. It's happened in my kitchen before oh, yeah. where somebody has gone like this mm -hmm. and nearly sliced Ooh, their finger terrible. off. Terrible. So you want to look for this a can is a opener. New gizmo, right? Yeah, that cuts from the side right. instead of from the top. Mm -hmm. And so this, you just pump it around like right. that. It's twenty dollars. Right. And it's going to come off like this. Look nice. At that. And smooth, so Look there's no accidents. Hang on one second. Is that the coolest thing you've ever seen? It's really essential to have that, especially if you have kids. All right. I like that. Okay, so next up, where a lot of mistakes happen in the kitchen is with your knife. Right. And a sharp knife is a safe knife. So it's really important that your knife is always sharpened. Mm -hmm. I sharpen mine almost every time I use it. Right. This is a $20 sharpener. Oh, okay. You're just going to pull it, stand back, sure. pull it right through <laughs> like that, and that sharpens it. <laughs> and you also want to have a knife guard. Yeah. These are about 2 to $6. These are really important because, because you probably have your knives all in a drawer together. Mm -hmm. And if you're in there fumbling around, that's a good exactly. way to Exactly. Yourself. If you have kids, you know, you don't mm -hmm. want somebody to cut themselves. Those are good. Okay, so now we're going to use our knife. Mm -hmm. With our cutting board, put a damp paper towel underneath. Okay. That's going to keep it from wobbling oh, around. Okay. That's smart. And hold your knife like this up right. here, mm -hmm. not back here. Right. This gives you much more control. Okay. And make a claw like right. this. And you're just going to cut like that, and that protects your fingers. Wow, that's really good. And I if you're still nervous, one more tip. a mesh resistant glove. <laughs> You gotta have a first aid kit and mm -hmm. a fire extinguisher. Make sure it's ABC rated, okay. which means that it will put out any kind of kitchen fire that you right. have. $18. And it's look a must. At these cute little handles for hot pots. Because we've all burned our hand when we reach for a handle. <laughs> yeah, I hope your boo boo gets better. <laughs> Katie Lee, thank you very much. Wish we'd done that segment last Thursday.